This is the first video of the CISE 132 routing series and it's how to configure a default gateway. It's important to understand why you have a default gateway. As long as we're keeping traffic local here, so here's Granite City Land 1. If we're just going to send traffic within our own network, we don't need a default gateway. But if we want to send traffic outside our local area network, if we want to contact to somebody else in uh, Granite City Land 2, or we want to connect the email server in Belleville, or somebody in Redbud, or maybe somebody out on the internet, uh, if I want to get out to eBay or Amazon or the all important be the all importantly Prawn D network, I need a default gateway. So the question is, is how do I configure a default gateway? Well, the first thing I have to do is make sure that everybody that's on my network has an IP address that belongs to the same range of addresses. So you'll notice that this is 192.168.1.0 slash 26. The 26 means we have 26 bits in the subnet mask that are 1. That mask would look like 255.255.255.192. So over here, next to our routers over here, we have our mask. Now in order to find the range, if I took that mask and I subtracted it from 255, 255, 255, 255, I get 0, 0, 0, 0063. If I take 1.0 and I add 0, 0, 0063, I come up with 192.168.1.63. This first number here, is the network address. This number here is the broadcast address. Everything in between would be a usable address. So if I put my pointer here over this PC, uh, you'll notice that it's 192.168.1.2 with a default gateway of 192.168.1.62. This workstation 192.168.1.1, subnet mask 255.255.255.192, and the default gateway of 192.168.1.62. My router has the IP address of 192.168.1.62, 255.255.255.192. So, how did I configure that? Um, I have to go into the interface, FA00. I give it an IP address of 192.168.1.162 with a mask of 255.255.255.192. I do a no shut, and that's all there is to it. If I do a show IP interface brief, I see that that network is good, it's there and working. Now if I try to ping from any one of these workstations to the router, I get a successful ping. So that's a way of testing to make sure my default gateway is good. Notice that we're using all straight through cables to make these connections. So in summary, if we want to get off our network, if we want to send traffic beyond our LAN, we need a default gateway, and that's how we configured it.